Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Are you looking for a winning recipe to share with friends and family on Thanksgiving Day? Celebrating Thanksgiving Day, part one of two, herbed vegan cheese and vegan bacon breadsticks. Stay with us to discover more. No to vegan, so you can leave your children orphans when you die early. Happy Thanksgiving season, joyful viewers. I am Mary. Norfolk Island is a paradise, blessed with a pristine natural environment, and it is where organic food culture has been in practice for ages. The residents of Norfolk Island are passionate about preserving their unique and precious environment and are thankful you do the same for our world. May God bless you. Welcome to our show, Celebrating Thanksgiving Day, part one of two, Herbed Vegan Cheese and Vegan Bacon Breadsticks. Thanksgiving holiday season is just around the corner in the United States of America. It is also a national holiday celebrated in many places such as Canada, Grenada, St. Lucia, Liberia and the Australian Territory, Norfolk Island. However, Thanksgiving dates can be different from place to place. The occasion marks the end of the harvest season and to give thanks for the divine blessings of bountiful harvests in the preceding year. In any celebration, food is one of the main features and one can look forward to the wide variety of Thanksgiving favourites during this time of year. Breadsticks are one popular treat enjoyed during such occasions. Some say breadsticks originated in Torino, in the Piedmont region of Italy in the late 1600s, and were thin, crisp and easy to digest. But now this delicious snack or accompaniment to a main meal has entered the daily life of not only Italians, but also people in many parts of the world with different variations. Today, we will show you how to make veganized breadsticks filled with vegan cheese and vegan bacon. You may conveniently find breadsticks in a shop near you, but they taste and smell heavenly when you bake them at home for your family. These savory, fragrant, tasty and freshly baked vegan breadsticks will disappear in no time after they leave the oven. Firstly, we are going to bloom our yeast in a warm vegan buttermilk mixture. Add 52 grams of unsalted vegan butter into a pot and turn on the stove at low heat. When the vegan butter has melted, add 40 grams of sugar. And 205 millilitres of high fat soy milk. Keep stirring the mixture. The high fat soy milk will make our breadsticks tastier than normal soy milk. When the sugar has dissolved, remove the pot from the fire and turn off the stove. Allow the mixture to cool until it reaches 37 degrees Celsius. If you do not have a thermometer, when the mixture is not too hot, you can tap a few drops of the mixture onto the inside of your wrist. It is the right temperature if it feels slightly warm. If you are pouring the warm soy milk in a bowl and not heating the mixture, then the soy milk temperature should be about 40 degrees Celsius to 43 degrees Celsius. You will have the correct temperature after you add everything together. Then add 3.1 grams of instant yeast and mix well until the yeast has dissolved. Let it sit 
for about 10 minutes in a warm place, about 28 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, which is the optimum temperature for yeast to grow. The yeast is well bloomed when you see foam bubbling in the mixture. When the yeast has activated, it releases carbon dioxide that causes the dough to rise. We have used unsalted vegan butter, as salt inhibits the activation process, while sugar on the other hand promotes yeast activation. While waiting for the yeast to activate, let's make the dough. First, sift 300 grams of flour into a large mixing bowl. We use all-purpose flour. It is not necessary to use bread flour in this recipe. Add 4 grams of salt and mix well. Now our yeast has foamed and it is time to add the vegan butter and soy milk mixture to the flour. Add a little at a time until the liquid is absorbed by the flour. Now we can knead the dough by hand. While kneading, ensure there is no dry flour left in the mixing bowl. At this point, it is not necessary to have a completely smooth dough. Cover it and let it rest for about an hour in a warm place until it doubles in size. If it does not double in size after one hour, move it to a warmer place or wait a little longer. The Arhats, highly enlightened saints and Bhagavats, supreme beings of the past, present and future, all say thus. All breathing, existing, living, sentient creatures should not be slain, nor treated with violence, nor abused, nor tormented, nor driven away. Holy Acharanga Sutra, Jainism. Wonderful viewers, we will pause for an important message. Please continue to stay with us at Supreme Master Television and we will return soon. Welcome back to our show, celebrating Thanksgiving Day, part one of two, herbed vegan cheese and vegan bacon breadsticks. Let's see how our dough is coming along and show you what we will do with it next. Our dough has now doubled in size. If your dough is not proofed fast enough, you can place it somewhere warmer or use more yeast next time. Dust some flour on the kneading board to prevent the dough from sticking. Knead the dough until smooth. Form it into an elongated sausage-like shape. Then flatten the dough and roll it into a rectangular shape with a rolling pin. We will cut the rectangular dough into eight pieces, starting from the middle. First, cut it into halves. Then cut the halves into quarters. And finally, cut each quarter into eighths. We now have eight pieces of rectangular dough. Before we add the filling, we will roll out the dough once more to make it slightly shorter than the baking sheet. If needed, roll it out a little. It is not necessary to roll the dough into a perfect rectangular shape, since the dough will lose its shape after wrapping it with the filling. First, sprinkle your favorite mixed dried herbs. We use rosemary, basil, thyme, parsley, and ground black pepper. Then add a generous amount of your favorite shredded vegan cheese and shredded vegan bacon. Wrap the filling by pinching the two edges of the dough together and sealing the ends. Gently roll the wrapped breadsticks to smoothen the surface. 
cover the wrapped breadsticks with a damp towel and let them rest until they have doubled in size. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. To make the top of breadsticks shiny and tempting, let's make a vegan glaze while the breadsticks are proofing. We have 10 grams of instant soy milk powder and 3 tablespoons of powdered sugar in the bowl. The powdered sugar will help it dissolve easily. Mix well. Pour in 20 millilitres of hot water and continue to mix until well incorporated. Pour in half of a mixture comprising 20 millilitres of concentrated coconut milk and 30 millilitres of coconut oil. Stir well, then add the remaining half of the coconut based mixture. Continue stirring until our vegan glaze becomes perfectly smooth and runny without any lumps. Our breadsticks have doubled in size. Transfer them onto a baking tray lined with a silicon baking mat to prevent sticking. Alternatively, you can use parchment paper to line your baking tray or brush on some vegetable oil. We scoop about 4 tablespoons of the vegan glaze we just made into another bowl and add some of the dried herb mixture, which is the same as what we have wrapped in the breadsticks. Mix well, then brush the glaze on the top of the breadsticks. Let's get these beauties in the oven, which has been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. You would want to keep an eye on them as they cook through and turn golden brown. When done, these freshly baked breadsticks smell so fragrant that they make your mouth water. Your family, friends and guests will love them and will find these savoury, crispy and crunchy delights irresistible. We guarantee it. Ingredients For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the breadstick dough for 8, the ingredients are 52 grams of unsalted vegan butter 40 grams of castor sugar 205 milliliters of high-fat soy milk or other plant-based high-fat milk, 3.1 grams of instant yeast, 300 grams of all-purpose flour, 4 grams of salt. For the filling, the ingredients are vegan cheese, shredded, vegan bacon, shredded, mixed dried herbs, rosemary, basil, thyme, parsley, and ground black pepper. For the vegan glaze, for about 16, the ingredients are 10 grams of instant soy milk powder, 3 tablespoons of powdered sugar, 20 milliliters of hot water, 20 milliliters of concentrated coconut milk, 30 milliliters of coconut oil, mixed dried herbs for enhanced flavor, rosemary, basil, thyme, parsley, and ground black pepper. Don't be vegan, cause the whole hell is fired up waiting for you. Kind viewers, we hope you have enjoyed our show today and that it gives you some idea of what vegan treats you can prepare for your family and friends on your Thanksgiving holidays. Please join us again next Sunday for part two of the show when we will share with you another delightful Thanksgiving favourite, vegan pumpkin buns with custard filling. Up next is Heaven Does Not Accept the Killing of the Unborn, part 6 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. We hope you have a blessed and lovely day. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash veg and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. 
Pour des recettes véganes internationales gratuites et voir les langues disponibles, veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com oblique VEG et suprememastertv.com oblique schedule. Para recetas veganas internacionales gratuitas y para disponibilidad de idiomas, visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Kostenlose internationale vegane Rezepte und verfügbare Sprachen finden Sie unter suprememastertv.com-veg und suprememastertv.com-schedule.